What's up everybody, Steve from Flight Brothers here, and today I'm doing a review on this Diatone version 5 power hub or PDB that I got from Tommy Bartek over at DiatoneUSA.com. And I'm really excited to give it a try because my current PDB has the positives all on one side and the negatives all on one side. So when I ran all my ESC wires, everything had to spread out to go to the sides of each side of the uh, PDB. This one, though, has all of the ESC connections, positive and negative, at each corner. So when I build this, I can stack it underneath my nays because it's got the standard 36 millimeter spacing, if you can see it there, with some nylon spacers, and I can neatly run all my ESC power wires, negative and positive, to each corner of this PDB, and it'll be a lot neater. The other feature this has is a 12 volt BEC and a 5 volt BEC for powering your different components on your quad. So I'm excited to give this a shot, but before I do, I want to hook a battery up to this thing and run my multimeter over the uh, two sets of BCs just to make sure we're getting the correct voltage out. And I plan on running this on a 3 cell or a 4 cell setup, so I'm going to check with both batteries just to be sure. So I'm back and I went ahead and soldered a short battery lead on here. The one thing I will say is these pads are a little bit tight. Now I use 10 gauge wire on this and with the 10 gauge wire it was it filled those pads pretty good and they were so close together that just to be careful I went ahead and filled in the gap between the two which was pretty tight space with some liquid tape just to make sure there wasn't any chance of a short there. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and uh, hook this up to a pretty much fully charged 4S battery. I'm going to show you right here, just so you can see. Almost a fully charged 4-cell battery. I'm going to go ahead and plug it in, and we're going to go ahead and check our BCs. All right, so no smoke. That's good news. Let's go ahead and try the five volt BEC first. Wow, 4.99, almost a perfect five volts coming out. Oh, there we go, looking pretty good. And the 12 volt BEC on the opposite side is showing us 11.88 which is pretty darn close not bad now just for kicks I'm gonna give it a shot on a 3 e cell battery as well all right so we're gonna give this a try on a almost fully charged 12 volt or 3 cell lipo I'm gonna plug that into the PDB and We'll check this one out. So on the 5 volt, we're getting still almost right on 5 volts. Very nice. And there's really not much point in checking the 12 volt, but uh, just for kicks. So if you're running a 3 cell, you can just power most of your 12 volt accessories right off the battery. 11.38. It's just kind of to be expected. If you're running a 3-cell battery, a 12-volt BAC is just not, or BEC isn't usually going to give you the full 12 volts. So, uh, anyway, if you uh, look for my ZMR cleanup video, you'll see me using this PDB to clean up the build on my ZMR, and you can see it in action, and I'll keep you updated. If you like this review, want to see more like it, then please subscribe to our uh, channel and like and share for anyone who you think might benefit from it. Appreciate it. Thanks a lot, and uh, we'll see you next time.